Hello guys, welcome to this course on Cloudera Data Platform. I am Sijesh. In this video, I will show you how to connect ADLS G2 with CDP cluster. So we already have a CDP cluster which is up and running. And in previous video, I have explained how to create ADLS G2 storage account and then create application ID, collect the credential and add authorization uh, to the storage account. We have added contributor role and also I just added storage data, uh, storage blob data contributor. That is enough for this application ID. So you don't need to add this contributor role. So you can add that storage blob data contributor. And uh, go to the Cloudera documentation. So this is saying uh, for mounting ADLS G2. So you need to set uh, these five properties. So which is auth type, provider type, endpoint, client ID and secret. The values for the sum of the parameter we have already collected and uh, that we have kept it into this notepad file. So which is nothing but the client ID, directory ID, object ID and the secret. I, I don't think we are going to use object ID, the app ID which is the client ID that we will use. So go to the Cloudera manager and uh, hit this HDFS. So we need to choose the HDFS configuration to update core site XML and hit this configuration button. So maybe it takes some time to load this configuration. So once this is loaded, so we need to search for this uh, custom core site XML uh, file how to update. So we can just uh, search here like advanced configuration snippet uh, just to use the advanced and then uh, scroll down you can see the cluster wide advanced configuration snippet safety well for a core site xml just hit this uh, plus icon to add a new uh, values okay and uh, here we are going to add all these uh, five uh, properties just back to the cloudera doc uh, documentation copy uh, this one by one so uh, first i copy it the first property which is uh, fs azure account auth type then its value we can directly copy and paste uh, again keep on adding uh, the other values like the provider type copy this property and its value which is there in the documentation just copy that value that is uh, the credential uh, provider and then uh, keep adding one more then which is the client endpoint so copy that uh, parameter name and its value also there in the documentation it's a login microsoft.com so this tenant id we need to replace with the, the actual tenant id value so tenant id or oh, is same as the directory id so copy that from this uh, word file which we have already collected in the when while we creating this application id so this is my directory id uh, in azure ad directory id and we are going to add our application or client id and the client secret so first copy this client id and uh, we already have that client id which is nothing but the client uh, application id just copy that value and add it here okay so we, we are adding this client id then the finally we need to add the password which is uh, the client secret okay copy this uh, param uh, parameter and its value we already have that value in this notepad file just copy that then add it here that's it so we can save this so what i did is uh, from the cloudera documentation so you can see this uh, five parameters so all uh, five parameter i added into advanced core site xml file configuration snippet from the hdfs configuration and its value i replaced with the actual values some of the uh, i mean the first two i use the same value and the third one i just replaced tenant id with the actual tenant or directory id the client id and the secret which i use my application id that application should have a, a contributor access or a storage blob contributor access in the ADLS G2. So we can add some description and save this configuration changes. 
So once this is saved, we can uh, come back to our main page. So definitely if you make some configuration changes, it will detect stale configuration and uh, you need to restart or redeploy the configuration. Just to hit this uh, redeploy option and you can see what are the configuration changes in the file. So plus means something it's added new. And uh, you can just uh, restart the stale service and here we have two options. So okay, the rolling restart or redeploy client configuration. Rolling restart and all we do in a production kind of cluster where we, uh, we uh, need the service availability throughout the day. But if you do the redeploy client configuration, definitely there will be an outage during this restart time. So in my case, this is completely a trial environment. I can choose this redeploy client configuration. So now uh, restart is in progress. So definitely it takes some time to uh, complete the restart uh, process depending on what are the services it's going to restart. So we need to wait until uh, this restart process complete. Okay, once this is completed, we can hit this finish button to uh, complete this uh, process. So maybe this stale configuration warnings will go away in a uh, few minutes because the cluster has to collect the details and has to do. Then I'm going to create uh, the container here. So this is my ADLS G2 storage account and I'm going to create new container. So I already created a container demo uh, in my uh, previous uh, testing. So here I'm going to create uh, one more container for my uh, demonstration. So hit this uh, plus container uh, option to create a new container. So you can add your container name here. I'm adding as a demo to and public access uh, marking as a private and then hit create to create the container. So this container create process won't take much time. So it will complete uh, within a, a few minutes or even seconds. So the new container demo2 has created and we can try to access this demo2 from our CDA, CDP uh, terminal. So I'm just uh, typing HDFS DFS LS for listing ABFS that is the protocol here I am using instead of HDFS ABFS Azure Blob File System then uh, colon slash slash uh, here I need to choose my uh, container name it's a demo2 which is a container which i'm going to list demo2 at then we need to ch choose the storage account name or adls g2 storage account name copy that string and add it here and then we need to use uh, some standard string which is dfs dot uh, core dot windows dot net so this is the standard uh, string syntax you need to use and then at the end slash means under uh, demo to what are the directories it's listing. You can see the HDFS DFS list ABFS then <coughs> container name storage account name then uh, the standard uh, syntax dfs.core.windows.net and then a slash just to hit enter it's not a listing anything because nothing is inside this demo2 container so what i'm going to do is instead of ls listing i'm going to create a new directory inside that so for that i'm using iphone hyphen mkdir option <coughs> and uh, directory name tested dir01 okay i have created a directory test uh, dir01 inside demo2 so here we can go to demo2 container you can see test dir02 is created here and uh, we are going to upload some file from here like uh, some uh, image file which i am up uploading here so you can see uh, how this is uh, uploading from this uh, azure portal and it's uploaded now we have test dir02 and uh, this image file now i am uh, listing the contents under lemo2 i can see uh, the image file png okay and uh, the directory listed here okay so this way 
we can make use of this adls g2 uh, container uh, from uh, cdp or uh, cdh um, terminal and uh, the next option is like a uh, advanced uh, options like uh, adding uh, this credential into some more secure way that is also possible so that we will be discussing later with that i am concluding this demonstration thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye